Welcome back. Honor Flight of Southern Indiana is just about a month away from their next trip to Washington, D.C. Joining us this morning to talk more about how you can get involved, Honor Flight President Jerry Blake. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for ha joining us today. Appreciate it. We no. always love talking about Honor Flight. Um, you guys are busy right now. Very busy. Just getting ready to get started on EVV 16th. And that is April, April 13th. April 13th. So we're a, almost a month away. Talk to us a little bit about what Honor Flight is for folks that might not be familiar with it. Honor Flight, basically, we're in the process of taking 86 veterans per flight and with their guardians, and we're trying to go all the way back to World War II. We're getting most of them uh, so they can actually go to D.C. and see the memorials that were built for them. A lot of them have never been there before. Now, this is uh, something you do twice a year. We do twice a year. Yeah, so this will be the spring trip. Um, I always like to brag on Southern Indiana, and I think this may be true. I have not heard of Honor Flight being uh, conducted up in Indianapolis. They may have similar programs up there, but I, I just feel that this is the most patriotic portion of the state of Indiana. Am I correct in that? By far. Okay. We are the best. They do have a hub in, in, in Indy. It's actually in Plainfield and one in Fort Wayne. Okay. But we are by far, I think, the best. Yes, and you guys are busy. 86 veterans on this, but this is the 16th flight, from my understanding. 16th flight. So I would say maybe, just to guesstimate, how many veterans here locally have you taken to D.C. over the last? About 1,200 so far. Wow. wow. That's amazing. And this has been from all branches of the military. All branches. All ages. Yeah. Um, now, for this honor flight, predominantly, are these uh, veterans from the Korean War? Well, we have one World War II vet, Mr. Putnam, 97 years old. Uh, he's uh, stationed in Germany during World War II. Uh, most of the rest of them will be from the Korean War okay. conflict. Wow. We may have a couple from Vietnam, but most of them are Korea. So before we get into how people can help, I want you to kind of give a rundown of how this day goes from dawn to dusk, as short as you can, but what this day kind of looks like for these veterans and their guardians. It's a long day, but very rewarding. Uh, we start them out at about 5.30 in the morning, bring them into the airport, getting them signed in. We have to get them to the back and get them ready. We feed them as, as they come through the line. Once we get them in the back, we break them up into four buses. We load them on the plane. It's about an hour and a half flight to D.C. We get them off the plane, get them on the buses. The first stop is World War II. And then from there, we just go to the Korean War. We go to Vietnam War uh, memorials. Uh, they get to walk around, visit those. Uh, we go visit the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. We get to watch the changing of the guard. Um, we take them back, get them back on the buses. We take a two, if we have if we have female veterans on board, we'll stop by the uh, women's uh, memorial there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're presented with certificates uh, that we get laid out for them before they go. Uh, after that, we just take a kind of a tour around D.C. If we have time, we stop at the Navy, uh, the Air Force memorials. Uh, by that time, it's getting around 4 o'clock. We start heading back to the airport. We feed them supper at the airport, get them back on the buses, get them back to Evansville. Once we get them off, it takes about a half an hour to get them in line with their escorts. And, and then we parade them through the airport, and uh, then uh, we release wow. them to go home and just kind of... About a 16-hour day. About a 16-hour day. Now, I want to ask day. you this. I know it's, it's called Honor Flight. We're honoring these veterans. We're also going to fly them to Washington, D.C., and it takes money to do that, and you have folks that uh, support those efforts and uh, contribute to the funds. But really, there's other layers of ways you honor these veterans throughout the day, not only uh, with the parade at the airport, but tell us about the mail call, because these are uh, mm -hmm. letters that are sent to these veterans in a special manner. Very important. Mail call is very important to the veterans, uh, just like when you're overseas. When, you know, when I was in Vietnam, we got mail call. We always enjoyed mail call. Uh, we invite all the students, we buy parent stuff to drop them off. We have the, any of the old National Bank branches, uh, any of the public libraries. Uh, you have Golden Corral, Mission Barbecue, um, also uh, the, the um, Red Cross on, on I Stockwell. Think we have a full screen of the oh, list. Oh, full screen, yeah, I okay. Think we have, yeah, there, there, there it is. Those are all the locations yeah. there. And the Bar House office, and, and uh, so it's, it's uh, drop off any of those places. They really enjoy mm -hmm. reading the mail. And what they do, they read part of it. We give them a small package to read on the plane coming back, kind of calm them down. Yeah. Then when they get back, we get them through the parade, we give them the rest of the mail to take home and enjoy it at their leisure. To now, do you think that adds to the emotions of their rearrival here in Evansville? I was going to say the no emotions doubt. of it. No doubt. Uh, you can walk. When we get up in the air, we get, I kind of walk down through the plane and just watch them, just see the faces and stuff as they're reading these and letters. what kind of conversations occur in that, uh, I imagine, what, about an hour and a half flight to Washington, D.C.? About an hour and a half, hour and 20, hour and a half, yeah. Yeah, so what kind of conversations do you overhear? Not that I 
necessarily want you to share the specifics, but uh, what do you hear during these flights? Uh, most of just talking to each other because, mm -hmm. again, they just met each other this flight. So a lot of them yeah. are talking to each other about their about their escapades when they were in the, in the service and everything and what they did, where they were stationed at, uh, what they're looking forward to seeing as they, as mm -hmm. they get to D.C. So. And the deadline for the mail call is April 5th, from my understanding. Yep. Um, starts, talk, starts March 15th, ends April the 5th. So drop those off now, get your kids to do them. Let's talk about the Welcome Home Parade. We want people to come on out and give these uh, ladies and gentlemen a welcome home like no other. Talk to us what people need to know to be a part of that. The main thing is don't bother coming all the way out to the airport, get caught up in all the traffic and everything. Go to Anchor Industries, you can park there. We have buses that run every 15 minutes, so right. you don't have to worry about all the traffic and that stuff. Go down and catch a bus, they'll bring you up, drop you off right at the airport, and at the end they'll bring you back to your cars, you can mosey back out on 41 and go home. And this is the end but of the day on April end 13th. End of the day, yeah. The flight usually lands about 7.45. Mm -hmm. Takes about a half an hour to get them lined up with their escort stuff. It takes about probably 45, 50 minutes for the parade stuff. So come out, i tell you what, it, 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 you not only you not only do it for yourself, but you do it for, for them too. It's, it's, it's just that they enjoy to see everybody out there. So there's several ways for folks to get involved, not only through contributions, but also just uh, actually being there to thank them when they uh, re arrive here in Evansville's airport uh, on that uh, day after a 16 hour trip to Washington. 16 hour trip. Wow. Wow, Jerry, thank you so much. No problem. It's thank you for great, having me. Great trip. We can't wait to see yeah. the video and photos. And from. we'll have another one in the fall, I imagine, too. Always. All right. Good to hear from <laughs> Jerry Blake on this. And Honor Flight 16, Griffin Glasscock, setting this up for a Tuesday ahead with fat.